Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we will be solving one very interesting and challenging algebra problem x square minus 5x plus 5 equal to 0. Then we have to evaluate x minus 2 whole power 10 plus x minus 3 whole power 10. So let us consider this required expression equal to e first. Now I will write our given equation x square minus 5x plus 5 equal to 0. Let us add 1 to both sides. So I will write plus 1 here, plus 1 to the RHS. So LHS becomes x square minus 5x plus 6 and RHS will be 1. Now we can factorize LHS. As we can see the factors of 6 as 2 and 3. So we can split our middle term minus 5x as minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 equal to 1. I can take x common from first two terms. So x minus 2 will be in the bracket. Minus 3 common from last two terms. So I will get x minus 2 again in the bracket equal to 1. Now x minus 2 is overall common from LHS. So other bracket will be writing x minus 3 equal to 1. If we will see our original equation, then x cannot be equal to 2. x cannot be equal to 3 also. It is not satisfying our equation. So I can write from here x minus 3 will be equal to 1 over x minus 2 once we will divide both sides by x minus 2. Here x cannot be equal to 2. So x minus 3 is 1 over x minus 2 which I will apply here. So I can write our required expression E will be x minus 2 whole power is 10 plus 1 over x minus 2 whole power is 10. This is what we are going to calculate. Now I will write our equation x minus 2 times x minus 3 equal to 1. So from here I can write x minus 3 equal to 1 over x minus 2. x minus 3 can be written as x minus 2 minus 1 equal to 1 over x minus 2. Now I will take this minus 1 to the RHS and 1 over x minus 2 to the LHS. So I can write x minus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 equal to 1. And if I will write here what we are looking for, so I will be writing here expression E. This was x minus 2 whole power 10 plus 1 over x minus 2 whole power 10. Now we will consider x minus 2 equal to a suppose. So let me write here. Let x minus 2 equal to a. So known equation we will write a minus 1 over a equal to 1. Then what we have to calculate it is e equal to a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10. Let's calculate. I will write here a minus 1 over a equal to 1. Let's consider squaring both sides. So let us put power 2 both sides. Now we will use a minus b whole square formula in our LHS. I will write a square plus 1 over a square minus 2 times a times 1 over a will be equal to 1 square is 1. Now this a and a will be over. I will calculate a square plus 1 over 
a square value will be equal to 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. So the value of a square plus 1 over a square is 3. Let's say this is our equation number 1. Now I will consider cubing both sides of the equation a minus 1 over a equal to 1. Let's apply a minus b whole cube formula this time. So a cube minus 1 over a cube minus 3 times a times 1 over a times a minus 1 over a equal to 1 cube is 1. So a minus 1 over a is 1. a and a will be cancelled out. So we will calculate a cube minus 1 over a cube value. This will be equal to 1 plus 3. So I will write here 4. So the value of a cube minus 1 over a cube is 4. We will call this is our equation number 2. Now we have to multiply equation 1 with equation 2. So I will write here, let me write 1 times 2. So I will write a square plus 1 over a square in one bracket. In other bracket, a cube minus 1 over a cube. And RHS will be equal to 3 times 4. Let us multiply term by term a square times a cube. We will get a power 5. 1 over a square times minus 1 over a cube. I will write 1 over a power 5. Now cross product. So I will a square times minus 1 over a cube which will give us minus 1 over a. And 1 over a square times a cube will give us a. So I will write here a minus 1 over a equal to 12. This is equal to 1. So I will write a power 5 minus 1 over a power 5 plus 1 equal to 12. Now subtract 1 from both sides. We will get a power 5 minus 1 over a power 5 will be equal to 12 minus 1 equal to 11. Now I will write this equation a power 5 minus 1 over a power 5 equal to 11. Let us consider squaring both sides. Power 2, power 2. Now we will apply a minus b whole square formula in LHS. We will write a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10 minus 2 times a power 5 times 1 over a power 5. This will be equal to 11 square. So we will write 121. Now these two terms will be cancelled out as they are same. So we are going to calculate a power 10 plus 1 over a power 10 will be equal to 2 plus 1 to 1. This is our required expression E. So I will write our final answer. Expression value will be equal to 123. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.